Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner, and I need some coffee. How about you? Today we will be making this fun fold gift card holder with a coffee theme, and I'm going to be using some of those cute coffee and donut images that I shared with you on another video. I'll leave you a link in case you missed it. And remember, if I can make it, you can too. Before we get started, do me a favor though and hit that subscribe button and make sure to also hit the bell so you get a reminder every time I upload a new video. So we're going to be coloring this um, cute image that I got from the Greeting Farm. It's from the Need Coffee stamp set. Unfortunately though, that stamp set is discontinued. You may be able to find it out there somewhere, but I can't guarantee it. Anyway, I'm going to be using my Spectrum Noir markers. For the hair, I'm using CT1 for the light blonde, and then GY2 and GY4 for the darker shades in her blonde hair. Now I haven't done hair coloring in quite a while, so this is where I'm pretty much just playing and experimenting. Um, after I had stamped out the image, I went ahead and ran it through my scan and cut, which is why you see that it's already cut out when I'm coloring this. I do like the way that the highlights did. Um, I still need to work a lot more on the lighter shades whenever I'm trying to get that dimension in hair, uh, but I think this one turned out pretty good. Now that I'm done fussing with her hair and trying to get the coloring just right, I've gone on to working on her skin. I'm using FS1 for the lightest shade um, and FS4 for the shading. And then I'm going to go in with the FS2 just to give her a little bit of pink in her cheeks and then I'm going to blend that all out. I decided to give her a little hint of eyeshadow with IB1 and then I'm using that same color and a darker shade IB2 for her shirt. While I was working on her face I neglected to do her arms and legs so I'm going ahead with the FS1 and FS3 to finish those up. Next I'm moving on to her jeans. I decided that they were going to be blue jeans and went with TB2 and TB4. I'm starting off with the darker shade for the outside and then filling in with the lighter color. And then I still didn't quite like the way that it looked so I'm um, after coloring her shoes I'm going to go back and fuss with those colors on her jeans to try to give them uh, I guess a more realistic more textured look. I think it turned out alright in the end but I'm really not sure what to call what I'm doing here. Um, I just kept adding on some more of the TB2 and I mean TB4 to add some um, darker shades and then blending it back out with the TB2. Thank you. 
I've decided to give her a pop of color for her jacket and so I'm going a little bit brighter going with CR2 and CR4 uh, it's a real small piece but I did want to give it just a little bit of shading to go along with the rest of um, her outfit being shaded in and that should finish up the coloring on her so now we'll start putting the card together. I had a scrap oval from another project that I decided to use as kind of my focal point um, place on here. So what I'm doing is I'm adding some pattern paper. This is from the Tailor Made Cards For You paper pack that I'm using in another video. And I'm using that for the background of my little girl that's gonna be having a cup of coffee. So first I'm just gluing that down and then I am going to cut out that paper around it. Now I didn't I didn't glue it really well down on the edges like I should have so I am going to go back later and clean that up some. Next what I'm doing is I'm taking a standard A2 size card base and I'm going to score one of the edges at two inches. And that is going to give us a little fold for a pocket so that we can put a gift card in. And I keep testing things out at each step along the way. Just adding a little bit of glue on the two edges to make that little holder. And you see that it works perfect with a gift card. Next, I'm going to trim up some of this, <coughs> excuse me, some of this other pattern paper from that same paper pack from Tailor Made Cards for You. This one has some coffee leaves on it. It's real pretty. I love that. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut it slightly smaller than the the size of the A2 size for the card base. You know, the card bases are four and a quarter by five and a half, so this is going to be slightly smaller than that. I am going to go ahead and leave a, a copy of all of the instructions, including the measurements and all, over on my blog, so you guys can check that out if you need some a little additional help. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Now that piece is actually on the inside of the card. So next I need to cut it for the outside. So that one is going to be right at two inches by five and a quarter, and that'll fit perfect on the front. Um, I keep going back and forth trying to decide which piece of paper is the right size, and then I just measure it in with my pencil, you know, mark it with my pencil, and then trim it down so that it'll fit perfect. So now that that is all trimmed down, I can go ahead and glue that down with my art glitter glue. And that looks great and then use the other piece do the same thing measuring it off and then putting that on the inside the inside one should be five, one and three quarters by five and a quarter so glue that in place and everything looks polished and and real nice there next I decided that I needed another of those ovals so I just traced around it onto some cardstock and I'm handing that out by hand and then I can start assembling this part of the card. So double checking, making sure that everything is the right size, and then I'm going to glue that onto the front. Uh, before I glue it on the front, I want to make sure I put it in the right spot, so I'm drawing a line on the back to make sure it's in the right area. And this is where you see that I noticed that I didn't glue that paper pattern paper down as well as I liked. <coughs> A pattern paper that I this is what I had printed out from that digital kit from Tailor Made Cards for You, and I had printed that on regular copy paper. I believe it was 28 pound, and then you saw that I lined it up with that line I drew on the back and glued that to the front of the card. And now I've got a second oval that I can put on the inside. That's the reason I needed to print that one out. So I'm taking another stamp from that same stamp set. It says Neat Copy, and I'm going to stamp that on this this second oval. And then just erase all of the lines that that line from where I had drawn that line to try to get this one straight. And it turns out it didn't go completely straight like I liked, but that's all right. This is handmade, not Hallmark. So I'm trying to line that all up, and then I notice that it is really not lined up the way that I want it to. I am going to show my OCD in a minute and trim that up some more. Um, in the meantime, I'm going ahead and adding a couple of those images from that other video, a little coffee cup and a little um, donut. And then I'm going to be adding her to the front. And of course, I get my scissors out and try to trim that up because I don't like that I've got a little bit of white hanging over. <coughs> And again, not enough glue in place. 
So I'm going to go ahead and glue her down on the front. And I figured that the card inside, the gift card, would take up enough um, dimension that it doesn't really need anything else. Um, I did not add any kind of dimension to these other than the stacked paper <clears throat> and the pattern paper is thin enough it shouldn't really matter all that much. So at this point I decided, you know, I need some place for people to be able to write on the inside and I got out the oval die that I should have gotten out at the very beginning. Um, it is the one that I cut out that initial oval out of and it would have saved me some time if I had just gone ahead and cut out three of those from the start. So I cut one of those out running it through my Gemini Junior and then I am going to add some glue to that, line it up with that other oval and then close the card onto that so it is perfectly positioned right behind our focal image and you can't see through it. And then I decided to get some liquid pearls out in I believe this was a bronze color. I thought that worked real good with the uh, coffee theme and that dark paper and just added a little bit of embellishment to the front and that finishes up our card. I hope that this video has inspired you to get out some of your coffee stamp sets and just play or try something new. I would love to see what you create. So come find me over on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and show me some of your creations. I've left some links in the description down below. Here are some other videos that you may be interested in. Thank you so much for dropping by, and remember, if I can make it, you can too. Happy crafting!